Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're having a good day, especially you, you, you that you're watching right there, you. Sorry, it's not polite to point, that's what my mom told me. Anyway, what am I doing today? Huh. Well, what we got here, people, is a box. And this box is gonna get opened. Yes. We call it a loot crate with real loot, not computer loot. I'm gonna take my handy dandy Leatherman and we'll see what's inside of it. Which you probably will know because I'll put it in the title of the video. I'll be like, yeah, I need me to tell you what's in it. But yeah, anyway. Just ordered this off of Amazon. It's brand spanking new. And I think only like, uh, Reviewers have had a chance to actually open it and I'm not a reviewer. I'm just some guy who is bored so deciding to do this So anyway, I guess it's sealed right there I have to cut this open It says if Oh, security seal. If the seal is broken, check the contents. Okay. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. No, no, everybody says that on the internet. Ooh, it looks like I get a free gift. Leave your feedback. Oh, I have to leave my feedback to get a gift? I don't actually get a gift for buying a 2000 something dollar product. All right, that's cool. That's cool, let's see how it is. Well, here's the device. You might have an idea of what it is. We'll save that for last, I guess. We'll look at the boring stuff first. That's how I eat my food, surprisingly. You, I'm sure you all wanna know this, but what I do is I eat the stuff that I don't like first and then the stuff that I do like, I eat that last. And I pretty much apply that logic to my entire life, just so you know. It's really simple. Is there anything in there? Yes. So we'll just take this out of here. All right. So let me just move my crap out of the way. Just doing a little studying. Got some uh, Corsair stuff going on for some AI stuff. But anyway, here is the laptop. And there she be. It's pretty fancy. I think so. Feels pretty nice. It's like a, feels like a, a metal on the bottom and the top. Doesn't feel like uh, plastic. Although, oh, maybe that is plastic. But not on the top. It's got this kind of like carbon fiber looking stuff right here. And then a little bit of discoloration in this little, like a different color black. I'm not sure if you can see that in the photo. But anyway open it up a little screen protector and there she be this is a 15 inch laptop I, I gotta say I've had a little MacBook Air I've had um, a Zeus uh, gamers Republic laptop like a big old honking 17 inch one I've had a razor blade a 14 inch laptop and I don't know I think I like this size this is a pretty good size it's 15 Point six, I think, and uh, you can just get back and see it. It's pretty good. Spacebar is kind of. It doesn't have the side-to-side -side floppiness, but it does have some back-and-forth floppiness. All the rest of the keys feel pretty stiff. That's good. All right. 
trackpad feels nice. I don't know if that's glass or whatever, but it's going to be nice to do some gestures on. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know, Windows works way better with a Microsoft account. Do you want to do that instead? No. Type what you want to name your account. All right, hang on, guys. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Let's see here. What information do you want to use, Cortana? These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. It wants relevant ads. Well, I don't really want any ads on my desktop. Tailored experiences with diagnostic, more relevant tips, recommendations. I don't really need that. Talk to Cortana and store apps that support voice recognition. Okay, that's fine. Help us fix things and improve Microsoft product services. Um, no thank you. You can bug test your own software unless you want to pay me Microsoft. Get location-based experiences like weather and directions to your favorite places. Let Windows and apps request your location. Well, this is always confusing because I don't have a GPS in this device. I guess they just want to um, use my Wi-Fi to figure out where I'm at. And I'm going to say no. You don't need to know that. Okay, that's the last Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. The voice on Cortana actually is pretty good. Here and see how it goes. All right, so it looks like we're on. So I don't know how long I'm going to make this video, but let's just say, for example, whoa, 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 it says a reboot is required. Okay. G style uses technologies which collect, process, and sort certain types of non-personal information on how you use other and others use our notebooks. This information can be collected. What is this stuff? Why is everybody trying to collect metadata on me now? This doesn't seem right, man. Oh, okay. So they have, so there's a, a right click and a left click section on this thing. So if you click here, it's just considered a left click, but if you click here, it's considered a right click. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Maybe I can change that. So if I, even if the click comes up here, oh, it doesn't look like, yeah, even if you click right there, nothing, nothing, go down a little bit, nothing. Oh, yeah, right there. So that's like the edge. But then if you click right there, nothing. It's still considered a left click. It really should be like, a Mac where you have two fingers and you click. I don't, I don't like that single finger click thing. You click on a different side of it or whatever. Oh, just restarted my computer for me. Thanks. I didn't tell you to do that, but all right. Uh, let's get some coffee. This is supposed to be my lunch break. Uh, getting hungry. It's almost one o'clock, so we're a little late here. But anyway, while it's rebooting, I'll show you guys what's going on here. Oh, shoot. It already rebooted. That was quick. Oh, sorry, guys. It's going to make me into.
better. They usually never do. Usually when I run Windows, I'll just install Classic Shell and uninstall all this stuff. Cause, uh, I don't really need it. I only use uh, Windows for like a couple things, a couple, a couple uh, little small projects. Let's see here. Welcome to Microsoft Edge. Faster than Chrome and Firefox. You know what? I'm not really sure I believe this. Because, uh, didn't, didn't, uh, Firefox Quantum just come out? I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Well, let's see if Cortana can help me with the speech in this, huh? Download Firefox. See if that works. Well, got me to the right spot. I didn't have to type and put the, the phone down. That's kind of cool. But basically what I wanted to do, just download a quick, quick benchmark. Uh, we'll do... Uh, heaven benchmark. Oh, it even picked up the O heaven benchmark. <laughs> yeah, the mouse feels a little weird. Did they actually test this before they sent it out? So we'll do, I'll cut this down if it gets too boring. But uh, looks like we got a Windows one here. Windows, Linux, Windows, oh, fast torrent. I don't want to torrent, buddy. Benchmarks. We'll do the heaven just because I know what that's like. It's actually a much smaller save. Oh wow, looks like it's just gonna take a minute to download. It's pretty good for being out in the country. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to cut this down. Unless I say or do something entertaining. Let's see what applications are in here. They got Bubble Witch Saga, Bubble Witch 3 Saga. Okay, that's important. Got to have that, right? Candy Crush Soda Saga. Ooh, man, I needed that. Disney Magic Kingdom. Man, I needed that. Get Office, Groove Music, March of Empires. Oh, that reminds me, I used to play... Uh, Age of Empires. That was a fun game. I wonder if that game's any fun. Oh, it actually comes with Microsoft Office? Oh, thanks for your interest in Office. You can try it or buy it. It's not actually installed. Of course not. I'm not going to give it to you for free, buddy. Paint 3D. Those are my settings. This is not a touchscreen, right? Yeah, I forgot. Okay, so it doesn't really have a lot of stuff in here, but that's good. I mean, well, it's got XSplit, so I can do some XSplit broadcasting. Never used that before. I don't know if it's good or not. So we'll get rid of that stuff. Actually, we'll just, well, dang it. The mouse pad feels like a Mac, so I just try to do uh, <laughs> two finger close. Uh, two finger right click, but it didn't work. Yes, install. Next. I accept. Yes, I'm a Windows user. Benchmark. Yes. Next, install. Well, that's pretty speedy. All right, let's see. So we have English as the language. The preset is going to be custom. 
can go with DirectX, DirectX 11, which if I want to do a comparison with Linux, I probably have to use OpenGL to have a fair comparison. Well, no, I guess I'll do both. I'll do both so you can compare DirectX with whatever open, whatever the best thing they have on the other one. Quality, we're going to say high. Tessellation, put it normal. Stereo 3D vision. Well, we'll go with 3D vision, yeah, sure. Anti-aliasing, we'll go with by four, just to start it off. And the system resolution. Oh, speaking of which, I didn't even check to see what the display settings were. Do we have the proper... Yeah, we're 1920 by 1080, okay. We'll run it. So we can't use app. Oh, duh. Can't use that. So we got a function key here. We can lower the brightness down. You know, I kind of like that effect. You can't completely turn the screen off by lowering the brightness. Mac has that ability where you can completely turn it off. And that's, I always found that kind of weird. Or right, turn the sound up so you guys can be totally enthralled. So it looks like we're getting right now 130 FPS, GeForce 1070, 1080p, temperature's getting to 72. Oh, drop down, second there. I'll make this much more scientific when I post the, fu the full thing, just to give you guys an idea of what it's like. looks pretty good 15.6 inch screen for 1080p doesn't look bad I have a 4k screen on my uh, big system but uh, you know normally you can see like little jagged lines on things if you don't use uh, anti-aliasing and I did use by 4 anti-aliasing so you do see a little bit of jaggies in uh, the image right now but it's not bad, and I mean, it's not really that noticeable unless you're trying to find them. A little noticeable in the shadows. The grass looks cool. There's no wind, so the grass isn't really shaking. The shadows did kind of chop through the grass right there, though. It's kind of weird. Very minimal jaggies. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there it goes. The, I think the temperature just got to 86 and the fan's really cranked up. But the FPSs are holding. I can really hear the fans now. It sounds like they're coming right out of here. Yeah, and it's gotten really hot to the touch. But surprisingly, the keyboard is super, super cool. So if you're, if you're gaming, I don't think this would affect you at all. Cause all the heat's like right back here in this, this little groove. I guess the best time to really, um, oh, we're getting like 150 FPS right now. I guess the, the best time to really put the pedal to the metal with these computers is right when you get it, just in case, you know, you got a faulty computer, you can make sure that you uh, still have that warranty. Just test everything. Get the memory test, get an SSD tester, you know, get everything tested right when you get it. Because, you know, sometimes the, 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 the people that make these things are not perfect. They don't have 100% quality controls. They can't do absolutely everything every single time. So, I mean, you'd hope they would, but I mean, even during shipping, when somebody puts something into the computer, something get damaged or, you know, banged around. 
So it's just good to test when you get something new. Well, that's awesome. I'm pretty happy with these uh, these results. So GeForce GTX 1070 with Max Q Design. So I heard you get like a, a 10 to 15 percent drop in performance, and as it turns out, I do have a 1070 in this computer. So this one's Threadripper, so it's quite a bit bit of difference with the thread count. This is like an octa-core laptop, the new Aero 15X. Oh, sorry, I should have said that earlier, but yeah, this is the this is the Aero 15. Uh, X and this is the 1080 version 1080p version but it, far, as far as I know everything's exactly the same this one has 16 gigabytes I'm gonna drop another stick into it and I'm gonna put another uh, NVMe SSD but I just wanted to to get it as quick as I could I didn't want to wait for somebody else to do something to it I'm, I do want to put a skin on the top of this thing too just cuz uh yeah it sounds like fun all right so let's just quit this. Actually, I guess we can do the, like the real benchmark. So we'll do a real benchmark test. I always make really super long videos. If you guys don't like these super long videos, just let me know. I'll try to get more to the point, but I don't know. I don't, I don't mind taking extra time just to have fun doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So if you guys don't have fun doing this, well, just let me know. I'll do a different style. So I literally just got this thing, just plugged it in. You saw me <laughs> go through the Windows installation steps. I haven't done anything. There might be better drivers out. It might be doing updates in the background. You know, you never know with Windows. It's one of the reasons I don't really like Windows. I've said it before, man, Windows 98 is my favorite Windows version just because bare bones, you know, you could I ran it on an old school Dell 500 uh, megahertz computer, and I played Boulder's Gate on that computer nonstop. Just wanted to get it to its uh, turned off services, you know, just try to get it so it'd be as fast as possible, so I could play Boulder's Gate, do legit dueling and hack dueling, make your own scripts. Man, that game was fun. Anyway. FPS is anywhere from 80 to 140 right, right now. This is actual real benchmark, so it'll tell us how it's doing. I saw a little stutter there. And the grass looks cool. Man, this is making me want to play a game. I got a Steam library filled with games. I don't ever, I hardly ever game. I shouldn't say I never do. I hardly ever game. I played, oh, there it is. There's the average is 89.7 FPS with the score of 2,261. Not sure if you guys can see that. Minimum FPS, wow, got down there for a second, 28.5, and max is 178. So, yeah. There you go. All right, so this is the first look at it. I'll uh, I'll probably do some more in-depth stuff. Maybe make a little short blog post on my blog about it. See how it works with um, AI, machine learning stuff, just for funsies. But uh, yeah, 
Uh, this is Ryan signing out. Uh, everybody, let me know uh, uh, what you think. So this is uh, this, again. This is this is Ryan. So this is Ryan out.